and thanks for watching. Today I want to show you how to write a custom function in Excel to convert a physical address to latitude and longitude coordinates. Now the first step is you'll want to open the workbook where you want this, this custom function to be. Now keep in mind uh, this custom function will only sit within the workbook that you follow the steps on, but if you'd like this custom function to be available uh, in all of your Excel workbooks, you'll need to install the add-in. Uh, down below I've included a link to that add-in as well as instructions on how to install that add-in into your version of Excel. So let's uh, get at this. The first step uh, that you'll need to do is you'll need to make sure that you have the developer button in your ribbon. If you don't, go to File, Options. Now I'm using Excel 2016, but this should work in any version of Excel, at least going back to 2007. Click the Custom Ribbon, and then on the right here, there's a Developer button. Make sure that that is checked, and then OK. And with the Developer uh, Ribbon available, you'll go to Visual Basic. The Visual Basic window will open, and you'll want to insert a module. Now what you're doing is you're inserting some code and uh, this will that now make or you're essentially writing a macro in Excel and you'll need some code here. Now the code is available in the blog post uh, so you'll go to our blog uh, to the auto populate latitude and longitude and there's some code and this code was written by Christoph Samaras uh, as part of his engineering blog and I have a link to his blog here uh, he wrote code on how to do this um, great code and uh, so I have right here a link to the simple version of his code and so it's just a matter of going to the blog post clicking here he's got the code and you'll just go ahead and copy all of this code and then go back to your Excel file to your Visual Basic window and you're gonna just paste it in here. Let's scroll back to the top and you'll see some instructions in this code as well as uh, contact information for Mr. Samaras uh, and one of the mentions in his code is you need to change or you need, need to check the Microsoft XML version 3.0 and what he means by that is we need to turn on a reference. So we go to tools up here and we click references and we're gonna scroll down to Microsoft XML Let's continue until we find it. Version 3. We need to check this box and hit OK. So now we've copied and pasted the code into the module and we've checked the Microsoft XML version 3.0 box. The last step is we need to save with this little save button here the macro. Now because we've written a macro and the file I've been using is a, is a non-macro enabled uh, file, I'll need to save my workbook. So I'll click no here and then I need to save this as a macro enabled workbook. Okay, hit save. So now the, the, the custom function has been included in our workbook. Now to use the function we need a, an address in this format, address, comma, city, comma, state, comma, zip code. And what I've done is I've used a concatenate uh, to take the address from my model here and just drop it down in that format. You can also just manually input the address, but you need an address written in a cell in that format. And then he has three options. Mr. Uh, Samaras has written three options into this function. The first is we can just get the latitude. And to do that, we, we type equals get latitude and there's the function we just that we just added and then we're going to reference the address we hit enter that's the latitude for that address we can get the longitude by get longitude again referencing the address and then we can get both we can get coordinates for that address and that will output both the latitude and the longitude in one cell and so there you have it. Uh, we just added a custom function to our real estate Excel model that instantly uh, changes or, or instantly finds the latitude and longitude of a given address. Now this address is a fictitious address in New York. Let's find a real address of a, of a real famous building. In this case, we're going to look up the Willis Tower. And the address of the Willis Tower you can find online is 233 South Wacker Drive. That is Chicago, Cook County. County's not necessary, but uh, is Cook nonetheless. 
uh, Illinois, and the zip code is 60606. And you'll notice automatically our coordinates change based on this address. So there you have it, a custom function to convert physical address to latitude and longitude coordinates. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out, and thanks for your time.